amazing, beautiful, freaking people, and welcome back to another reaction video. How did I miss this one? How did I miss this one? The first egg performance of the Attack on Titan final season the flipping ending theme? How did I miss this? How did I miss this? Akuma no Ko on the first egg, how did I miss this? I, I, am I pronouncing it? Is it I or A? I, Higuchi? How did I miss this? I'm gonna stop talking. I'm gonna keep this intro nice and short. Like the video, subscribe for more, press that freaking subscribe button, and let me know in the comment section what else you'd like me to react to, and let's jump into my first time in reaction to I, Higuchi, Akuma no Ko, live, the Attack on Titan ending theme, by the way, the final season, on the first take. Honestly, I don't know how I missed this. Can't believe I missed this. Is that what the first thing studio looks like in the front? We've never seen that before. Already, already goosebumps. Already goosebumps. Already flashbacks. Already. Already. Already I'm ready to start from episode one, season one, all over again. Already. Already. One of the greatest things I've ever seen. つのたまかせいりの照明つらぬけばえいうに近づいたその目を通して増えてみればおなじ形同じ太陽の悪魔僕はダメってあいつはいいのそこに壁があっただけなのに生まれてしまったさだめなげくな僕らはみんな自由な
つの雨が降り散る情景テレビの中映画に見えたんだ戦争なんて愚かな凶暴関係ない知らない国の話それならなんであいつに組んで黒い気持ち隠しきれないわけ説明だってできやしないんだ僕らはなんて夢中ばっかなんだ Oh, Ai's performance is beautiful, by the way. Is it interesting that I'm loving her vocals on this, but I'm loving the piano piece more? I don't know if I've ever said that in a reaction before. I'm loving her voice. I'm loving her energy. I'm loving the, the emotion she's putting into this performance. But the piano, the piano for me is hitting harder. I don't know why. <laughs> Anyone else feeling like that? So weird, right? <laughs> I feel like Attack on Time can be summed up with that one sentence, you know? Don't want to live just for the sake of living. That one sentence, I feel like, sums up the entire show. <laughs> sums up the entire emotions. Man, I'm getting sniffy, I'm getting teary eyed. <laughs> This is hitting me. I feel like that one sentence is so damn heavy. Also, Eyes Voice! Oh, what? <laughs> So interesting sitting here and just thinking about the past and everything is that when Aaron started getting stronger, like in the final few seasons, um, he almost that's when like depression hit him, right? He stopped smiling and he'd walk around and it almost just felt like he was carrying he was carrying out a job that he didn't want to do, you know. And it's interesting because I'm looking back at like we, um, uh, flipping the Warhammer Titan and everything there and everything that happened. And that's why I'm imagining, like, when all that stuff kicked off and everything. And it almost just felt like he was just looking around solemn, like, hot, like I mean, he was. We know he was. He wanted to be defeated. And, and that's what, that's the energy he had. He was like, it was almost like he was just brainwashed, you know, but not. It's hard to explain. Am I making sense? I don't know. This piano, man. Attack on Titan is one of the greatest things I've ever seen, you know? I really think it is. I think it is one of the greatest things on television I have ever seen. I don't mean one of the greatest animes. I mean one of the greatest shows. I put it up there with Game of Thrones, with The Walking Dead, with Breaking Bad. Attack on Titan, right there with them. It is a masterclass of storytelling and uh, storytelling and emotion. 
and the music, the soundtrack, that like Link Horizon, Hiroki Sawano, and everyone, I, like everyone that was involved in creating the, the soundtrack for Attack on Titan, it just, <clears throat> perfect. Do you know, you know it's so good when you listen to songs like this and you're back immediately, right? That's how you know it's good. That's how you know it's amazing. When you're feeling all the emotions, when you have the tears in your eyes, when you feel clammy and, and your, your throat's tight. It's amazing how heavy it can be. I'm back there, you know? I'm imagining them all on the side of the cliff. I'm imagining... Aaron in the basement. I'm imagining... And I don't just... I don't mean the base. I mean the basement... The other basement, you know? The basement with Reiner. I'm imagining... It's funny, I'm saying spoilers about context here, so if someone hasn't seen the show, you can you literally can have no idea what I'm talking about. I never like to say spoilers, even though I'm guessing all of you have seen Attack on Titan, because otherwise you probably wouldn't watch this song. Um, if anyone hasn't seen Attack on Titan, I really don't know. I really don't get it. I don't know... I, I At this point... Because, like, for example, my brother um, refuses to watch Attack on Titan, and I and and he's big. He was a he's a huge anime fan. He was like he was a fan of anime years before I watched any anime. A years. <clears throat> I will say though, my brother's favorite anime. Um, uh, maybe they're just very different from Attack on Titan, Madoka Magica, Sword Art Online. Um, although I think he loves One Punch Man. Um, but I don't think he's actually a Ru uh, Madoka Magica, Sword Art Online, and Ruby. Um, so, you know, you can sort of see a pattern with his anime, right? Um, and then I know he likes One Punch Man. But I don't know if it's one of his favorites. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, like, when I, when he, when I talked to him about Attack on Titan, he, he, he like, says, ah, I tried it, I tried a few episodes, and he was like, it's just too predictable. And I literally said to him, I was like, predictable? I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, Attack on Titan is many things. Predictable is not one of them. And it really isn't. Obviously, you can predict many things that happen in shows. And I'm sure many people predicted many things that happened in Attack on Titan. But there are so many things that just caught me completely off guard. The Ymir thing was the, the probably the biggest one. But then again, there was another one that was pretty... In fact, there's loads of things. I can think of so many things. So many things. Predictable. Couldn't believe it. Um, but my, like, for example, my brother never got past like three episodes and I'm just using him, him as an example of, of, um, of a person. I just don't understand why he won't watch it because it's incredible. It's like, it, and you do get people, I had people in my life when Game of Thrones was really popular. I was recommending Game of Thrones. Oh, you should watch Game of Thrones. It's incredible. And people are like, nah, I can't be asked, blah, 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 whatever. And you do get people. I, I, maybe I'm guilty to this myself and I, I'm not anymore. I'm not guilty to this anymore, but I used to be where something was so heavily recommended that it would put you off it. Right, where the world was talking about something, so you didn't want to watch it. You know, everyone's like, oh man, you gotta watch Breaking Bad, it's amazing. And you're like, nah man, it's too mainstream. Everybody watching Breaking Bad. I'm watching this show from um, flipping Mexico that no one's watching. You heard of it? Nah, you wouldn't have heard of it. Like, it, why? It's not cool. The reason everyone's watching something is because it's good. So, like, if someone said to you, oh, this is the most delicious food I've ever had, you should try it. Nah, I am, I'm eating dog poo. Like, what do you mean? Try it because it's good. If someone, if everyone in the world is watching something, it's probably good. So maybe give it a go. I'm just saying. The biggest shows on this planet are all good shows. I don't understand this. Like, I, un I understand not conforming, not conforming, whatever people say, not following the, the, the main, the, the mainstream. I don't know, all that crap. I understand. I do. But I think there is a time to do that and a time not to do that. And I think watching TV shows and watching movies that are popular, I don't think that's the time to do it. I think not seeing a movie or not watching a TV show or something because it's popular and having like a bitter taste in your mouth is just a stupid thing to do. I understand not doing it with like buying products, for example. I think that's where it's fine. You know, not buying a product because everyone owns that product. Sure, absolutely fine. But I don't think when it comes to consuming entertainment content, that makes any sense. Because the bottom line is the biggest things in the world are usually the best things when it comes to entertainment. Movies, TV shows. If you look at it, music even, for example, the whole reason they've grown is because they're fantastic. And Attack on Titan is a perfect example of that. So honestly, anyone who hasn't watched Attack on Titan because of that reason, anyone who thinks it's too mainstream, too popular, or too overrated, and hasn't actually sat down and watched it, all I can say is I feel sorry for you. Because you are missing out. And that's it. And the bottom line is, if you watched it from start to finish, you would probably love it. 
And I understand it's, it's not everyone's taste because it isn't. Not everyone likes everything. So there's loads of people in the world who would watch it and not like it. My gran isn't going to like Attack on Titan, is she? Doesn't mean you shouldn't give it a go. For me, when I sit down and I listen to I, Higuchi, Akuma no Ko, I'm broken. I'm teary-eyed. And that, in my opinion, is what makes this show so freaking great. The fact that this, that one tiny 10 seconds of piano, can break my heart. <laughs> Man, I love this. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this reaction. If you did like and subscribe, please, please press the subscribe button. Have an amazing day. Let me know what you'd like me to react to next in the comment section down below. And as always, my friends, we'll see me.